Okay, hello friends, welcome back to getting yourself organized with org mode. My little screencast about org mode. Today we want to talk about a topic that is both a function and a concept and its uh, priorities. Uh, we already have 23 videos made and nobody talked about priorities yet. If I would tell that my boss, he would say, you are crazy. The most important thing in organizing is setting priorities. But uh, old mode is quite different. And so let me just uh, start with a bit of philosophical uh, look at priorities. There is an example that's uh, Eisenhower's priority matrix. I copied that graphics from uh, Lifehacker. And Eisenhower said, okay, every task has an importance that is between low and high and also an urgency between low and high. So the most burning tasks are the ones that are very important and that are very urgent. And he said these are number one tasks and the next one is okay it's still important but not so much urgent as he said is in that quadrant and you can okay decide when you want to do it uh, then there are tasks that are urgent but not important that's a task he said you can delegate and the fourth uh, quadrant is about tasks that are neither important nor urgent so they shouldn't find their way in your uh, organizing system at all that was his uh, idea of, of prioritizing and uh, well i have to say uh, I'm, I'm not using much of, of priorities in the, the common sense that you say oh i have that very important task and that is priority one or whatever if you look at uh, org mode priorities they usually go from a which is the highest priority to c which is the lowest and if a task has no priority the default is b you can change this if you want uh, you could put a configuration line up here in this uh, area and uh, name it priorities and then you start with the highest and the lowest and the average uh, default priority and uh, the important thing is that they are uh, how to say enumerating characters like A, B, C or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or whatever uh, and yeah, it's just that you can take a task, look like, like I put the second task and a, a setting priorities is quite easy. You can uh, press shift and cursor up or cursor down and then you cycle through the priorities. You see now I have the task that has priority A or if I go on like that. Uh, I'm at the default and C, B, A, default again or if you want to enter the priority you could also control C, comma and then he says uh, com priority A to C, let's put it to B and that's it. Setting priorities. Priorities you see are those uh, brackets with a number sign at the priority level. It's just uh, Reminding you this task has a lower priority than the others if I remember that the default was B or if I push it up I say this one is more has a higher priority than the other tasks uh, but usually for me my daily schedule is not so much uh, depending on those priorities because uh, priorities are nice for a sort of task list where you don't have a schedule but if you have a schedule you already uh, have committed yourself to do that task on that day and of course you can sort them a bit by importance or urgency or priorities or whatever but uh, the real life already showed me several times that priorities are a relative concept if I uh, think uh, le let's imagine your priority is 
I want to plan uh, for a holiday and then uh, I put this as my, my big priority because I, I want to make a good decision and so on and uh, let's uh, just imagine the next day your house burns then you are really firefighting you have a house that is burned down to the ground and in that moment your holiday plans have really no priority at all you have other tasks that get a suddenly a much higher priority so priorities are a nice concept to, to uh, remind you of something that, that looks important for you but uh, you always have to think that life can kick in and can give you completely different priorities and you have to handle with that those but uh, what priorities are inside org mode it's uh, just it shows you here that you have a priority and it also uh, influences the sorting of your agenda so I have set up an agenda for my example org file that we will call now without any task having a priority let's put it like this control C A and I have made that overview for today, uh, today. that's uh, what I really use in, in my own system I have a overview that says okay let me see the tags uh, the, the tasks that are tagged as urgent with the tag so that I have them on top they are urgent maybe I have to do them right now and then let me see the things that are tagged with phone this one could be also tagged with phone I didn't take it now I, I call her whatever uh, so I have a, a list of phone calls that I should do sooner or later and then I have the today schedule you see I have those uh, two example tasks that are at the end of my schedule because they already uh, have the same priority as the others but the others you see that the number of days that they are already uh, you should work on them this one I should work on, on that ugly task since 10 days and that one I should work to, uh, for 6 days and for 5 and for 4 so you are practically sorting it uh, how many days should I have worked on that task this one is scheduled for today but it's at the end of the list because there are other tasks that I should have really worked on so let's quit this now and let's uh, say this second task here is much more important than the others so I put this on uh, level A and I do my view again and now you see that very important task made it to the top of the list and then we get the other with the default priority as, as this one but uh, sorted by days I should have worked on uh, there is another task let me put it into my work uh, no not that it was my live org okay let's we are messing up but don't worry I have this task wash the car I say this is absolutely unimportant or has a very low priority I, I do it just for fun or whatever so let's put the agenda view again and now my today's agenda looks like that I have that very important task here I have the default tasks that are already due for several days they come always first before the today's tasks but then I have that default task for today and this is the, the lowest priority task it's already scheduled five times usually it should kick in here but because it has the C priority it's at the bottom of the list so you see priorities in org mode are just a matter of 
sorting your agenda file. That, that, that you have an agenda view and you say I want the important things on top and the less important things on bottom and of course you get the uh, things that you should have worked already on uh, always on top of the others if they have the same priority level uh, but that's a nice view where you can live with and uh, that you say okay uh, when I do my, my daily plan in the morning, it's, it's something like that, that says, okay, what urgent things are there that I should have a look at or that I should schedule for today or whatever. And then what phone calls could I do during the day and then I want to see what's on the list for today or what's on the list that I should already work on. And it looks like that and I can create a checklist out of those items and say okay this is what I want to achieve today. Okay folks that's all on priorities hope you enjoyed it and hope you got a bit of uh, insight how my personal system is working because this view is really copied that the uh, uh, customization is copied to this example file and of course in my uh, own system the list is a bit longer I can scroll there but uh, it gives you an idea what you can do uh, with old mode and custom views and priorities and text and so on so it's it's practically like a dashboard where you say what's uh, on the plate or for today okay thanks for listening thanks for all the comments and see you with the next video you know I'll be back